All right, so I'm installing Sunny Pilot on my Comma 4. There is a dev version, uh, so only for those who are adventurous. However, uh, I want to use Sunny Link to synchronize my settings from my Comma 3X to the Comma 4. So they have a migration wizard that I need to have my old device connected and online for Sunny Link to be able to get it. Uh, so if you go here into the settings, uh, there is Sunny Link, and I can uh, pair this device with uh, Sunny Link. So you can see here I had Sunny Pilot um, before. I've been using Sunny Pilot most frequently, and I have a pretty good setup here that I really like. And my understanding is I can then use a Sunny Link also to manage all the toggles, which are not uh, all clearly accessible from here. There's very limited controls currently in this dev version. So uh, what I want to do is they have a migration wizard. I went to sunnylink.ai, logged in, and uh, you can see my device is online. And what I want to do is synchronize or migrate my content off of here because I really like the settings I have on this uh, this last version of Sunny Pilot settings I was using uh, on my C3X. So all I did was just plug it into USB um, just from a, a cigarette lighter adapter since my Comma 4 is already installed. I just needed to power it and get it the network. I'm in my car because it uses my car's network is what it's configured with. So it was just easy to sit in here and do it. All right, so what I want to do first is come over here to Sunny Link. I want to pair this to the same... Uh, account that this device is paired to. So um, I'm going to go ahead after I've logged in to Sunny Link. I'm all good to go there. Come on, find it. There we go. All right, so I'm going to continue. I'm using GitHub for my connection. Yes, so both the devices are now online and connected to SunnyLink. So now I can start the migration wizard. Uh, let me go back into this one and just look at AFD is my source. So I'm going to open the migration wizard. I'm going to start a new migration. It says select and then start migration. So let's see what happens here. It says processing X of uh, 257 settings. It's going pretty quickly too. So I'm going to go to next. So now I've selected the target device. It says comparing settings. All right, so review changes. These are basically all of the changes. Uh, I'm guessing I want to do all this stuff. I don't know, but what the heck. Apply. Language. Smart cruise. Speed limit. Speed limit offset, smart crew. Yeah, all these changes that I can do on this device with toggles that I can't do on that device now are going to be pushed. I can come in here and adjust any settings and then just push them to the device. I don't need to find them on the C4 because I can just log into this and then push settings so yeah, I like it. And I like that there's a search here. If I want to quickly look for, if I'm having trouble with speed limit issues, I can type in speed and be like, oh, what are the speed limit things? That's super cool. Yeah, here's all the toggles. 
This is really cool. Uh, um, yeah, I'm digging this. Developer settings. Steering. Driving personalities. Some of these I wish I knew more about, but anyway, yeah, man, I can, I don't have to mess with that now. I can do it all right here on sunnylink.ai. Anyway, that's cool. Uh, yeah, I'm going to be running Sunnylink now moving forward. It's dev, so again, use at your own risk. Um, but super cool. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next one.